All right, folks, it's time to talk about Elon Musk, right? We can't continue to just not talk about this issue. And of course, I'm not even talking about the alleged exposure uh, that Musk gave to that former flight attendant aboard a SpaceX flight. I actually did a, a pretty deep dive into that over at Ring of Fire, if you want to go check that out. But that's not even what I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about is the fact that Elon Musk really appears not just this past week, although it's gotten so much worse in the last seven days, but the last couple months, maybe the last couple years, this dude has just gone full wackadoo. And honestly, I do feel like that is probably the best descriptor for what Elon Musk is today. The guy's just a weirdo, right? The guy who named his child a series of letters and numbers and symbols has suddenly gotten even weirder than that. And here's what I mean. Of course, as I said, this past week, he's gotten so much weirder. And I don't care if he's like, I'm not voting Democrats. I'm voting Republicans. Dude, I don't care how you vote. I really, honest to God, don't give a damn how you vote or what political party you're aligned with. You're the richest man on earth. We know that you're a Republican, okay? That's a given. You don't have to pretend that you were ever actually a liberal. So here's what I'm saying. This week, somebody tweeted out to Elon Musk, like, hey dude, why are you getting involved in politics? You're putting a big target on your back. And well, I'll read the tweet here. Just curious, what is your motivation to become politically active? Why make yourself a target? You're trying to get mankind to Mars and alert the public to the danger of AI. Why sabotage these worthwhile goals by wading into political controversy? Is it worth it? And this is what that weirdo Elon Musk responded with. Unless it is stopped, the woke mind virus will destroy civilization and humanity will never reach Mars. The woke mind virus that Musk has been invoking uh, for many months now, he's mentioned it multiple times on his Twitter feed, the woke mind virus or people being woke and wokeness this and wokeness that. But now apparently being woke means humanity will never make it to Mars. And of course, civilization itself will collapse. Um, Musk has never defined what he thinks the woke mind virus is, but of course, as we all know, woke is typically an insult thrown out there towards liberals, people who, you know, say that we should respect people's pronouns, people who think that black lives matter, people who understand that climate change is a threat to humanity. I guess that's woke. So, is Elon trying to tell us that pronouns are going to prevent humanity from going to Mars? Because if that's all it takes, I got to tell you, I don't think we would have made it to begin with. But the weirdest thing to me is not just what a, you know, weirdo Elon Musk is. Okay. Most of these billionaires, uh, they're a little wacky. Okay. Let me just put it nicely. And that's typically how it's always been. Like look back at Howard Hughes, right? You know, you get all that money things st stop, you know, ticking properly up in your head sometimes. It happens, right? And I don't care about his politics either. Again, you're the richest man in the world. We know you're voting for tax breaks. We know you're voting to boast, uh, bust up unions too, which is pretty much what he means with woke mind virus. But again, the weirdest thing to me is the cult following that Elon Musk has. Like what is so great about this dude that you people are willing to defend him online all day for no reason. Oh, Tesla and SpaceX are great companies. Sure. They make good products, I guess. Elon Musk doesn't make those though. You do realize that, right? Like Elon Musk isn't sitting out there in a lab contemplating how to make the, the engine work on a Tesla. That's not him. Those are the engineers that work for him. All he does is pay smart people to make good things. And let's be honest, I think what, 25% of Tesla's entire stock was actually recalled. So they're not even that great. You know, we've seen plenty of problems with the SpaceX, SpaceX rockets. They're doing well now, which is great. Space exploration is cool, but do we even need to colonize Mars? Like, I don't even understand that obsession. Like we gotta go to Mars. Dude, nobody's stopping you. You own rockets. Like I will help you pack, get in your rocket and go. I'm okay with that. Do we need a colony there? No. Like we're focusing on just getting the hell off of earth instead of trying to fix the earth that you say is plagued with this woke mind virus. The dude's a wackadoo 
is what I'm trying to say. But his weird supporters are even crazier than he is. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of zero dollars per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.